Hello and welcome to Teledyne RDI Web Training. I am Scott Idle with Field Service and I support ADCPs via phone, email, chat, text, occasionally on Facebook and LinkedIn, and almost any other way you can think of to reach our support department in this highly technological era that we live in today. In this episode, I will cover the Sentinel V configuration options. Sentinel V is a self contained broadband ADCP that comes equipped with 16 gigabytes of internal recording space, an installed attitude sensor to gauge pitch, roll, and heading, as well as water temperature and pressure sensors. In addition, the Sentinel V arrives with an accessories kit, which contains a spare tool kit and a documentation CD. But one of the really awesome things about the new Sentinel V is the enhanced configuration options. Today we are going to cover Sentinel-V profiling ranges, sampling strategies, end caps, beams, and power options. The Sentinel-V is tiny but mighty and is available in three different profiling ranges, the V20, V50, and V100. As one can guess by the model names, the V20 performs best up to 20 meters, the V50 is optimal up to 50 meters, and the V100 performs well up to 100 meters. Now, two users with vastly different interests in the same environment can share a single ADCP to accomplish the data collection goals of both, essentially doubling hardware output. For example, you can collect large depth cells for range and small depth cells for vertical resolution during the same deployment. Our Sentinel Vs communicate wirelessly, so the end cap has no cable connector. Wireless functionality allows you to quickly connect to your Sentinel-V so you can download data, test your Sentinel-V, and fly through your instrument reconfiguration and redeployment, saving you time and money. You can also do wireless setup and software firmware updates. However, you may want to supply power externally, hence we have an end cap with a power connector on board. The Sentinel-V offers two different beam configurations, four beams and five beams. Option one is a standard four beam configuration. It has the traditional use of water current profiling. It is important to note that it cannot be upgraded to five beams. You must have opted for the five beam configuration at time of purchase. Option two is the five beams unit. The integrated fifth beam provides a direct vertical velocity measurement and a fifth range to the surface measurement, allowing for enhanced turbulence and waves measurement capabilities. Additionally, the fifth beam can be used without waves. The fifth beam is not required to be in use in order for the unit to function properly. It can be used as a four beam ADCP. To power the Sentinel-V, supply a DC input voltage within the range of 12 to 20 volts. There are three different types of battery options depending on the intended use of the device. There's an internal battery housing option for store-bought batteries, an internal alkaline battery pack option, and an external battery case with two battery packs option. The Sentinel V is shipped from our facility with the type of housing that was chosen at the time of purchase. Please note that these housings for these options are not interchangeable. Option one is intended for shorter duration deployments, typically for 30 days or less. This option provides 100 watt hours of energy coming from 12 D cell batteries. It is considered to be one of our most practical options because it requires simple everyday D cell batteries that can be purchased conveniently at your local convenience store instead of having to special order replacement battery packs. Please plan to purchase and install the batteries prior to deployment. Option two is also intended for shorter duration deployments, typically for one to three months. This option is an internal alkaline battery pack that provides 500 watt hours of energy. Remember to connect the battery prior to deployment. Option three is for the super power user and is best suited for deployments ranging from 12 to 24 months in duration. This power option requires an external battery case that contains two 500 watt hour battery packs, 
for a total of 1000 watt hours of energy. Please remember to connect the batteries prior to deployment. When it is time to replace these alkaline battery packs, we recommend they be purchased from TRDI customer service because we keep them in stock and ready to ship. Prior to deployment and after recovery from deployment, you'll need to perform lab tests, data downloads, etc. If you opt for the end cap with a power connector, during this period you can save your batteries by using the lab test cable and AC power adapter. Please note that the lab test cable and AC power adapter are not to be used during actual deployments outside of the lab. Well, this concludes the Sentinel-V options presentation. As always, if you have questions or concerns, please feel free to contact technical support at rdifs at teledyne.com, 303-566-7000, 303-566-7000,